As Messi wins the biggest prize that eluded him for his whole career, for many fans, he also settles the G.O.A.T. greatest of all time a debate, once and for all. While undoubtedly one of the greatest to ever play the game, the FIFA World Cup trophy-sized hole in his cabinet was often cited as the biggest gap in his career. Not anymore. Like his footballing predecessor, Diego Maradona, Messi has shepherded his football crazy country to the pinnacle of the world game. The G.O.A.T debate is football's most contested conversation, eliciting strong opinions and a lot of disagreement. Often, due to fan loyalties, the debate pushes people to extreme positions, pedestalizing one player while diminishing another. Ultimately, there is no objective metric to compare the uh greatness of players spanning across generations and situations. What is possible to do, however, is to have a conversation that respects footballing context before making an informed opinion. Pelé was football's first global superstar. Possibly the best-paid athlete of his era, 1956-77, he averaged just about a goal a game for his entire career, scoring a whopping 757 goals in 831 official games. He was also an underrated creative player, with a record 8 assists in his World Cup career. Till date, he is the only player who has won the World Cup thrice, 1958, 1962, 1970, doing so in four attempts. Pelé's case to be the G.O.D.A.T. is both helped and hindered by just how long ago he played. On one hand, nostalgia attaches mythical status to Pelé, whose legend has grown over time. At the same time, many modern fans raise questions about the context he played in, specifically, the level of competition he faced. Without a lot of game footage, Pele's greatness will always be a matter of fierce debate, with no way to definitively settle the issue. But one thing is for certain, the game of football would be poorer without him. If Pele was a symbol of the purity of the beautiful game, Maradona was its fallen angel. Notorious for his bohemian lifestyle, Maradona was the definition of a wayward genius. He had skill that would defy logic, and a heart to go with it. When opponents were unable to stop him legally, they would kick him to the ground, a practice referees were far more lenient with back in the day. However, Maradona always got back up and played like nothing had happened. While his actual output was modest in comparison to some other players in this list and the peak of his career was short-lived, Maradona's case to be the G.O.D.A.T. is based on how gifted he was and how he made everyone who watched him feel. Crucially, he always rose to the occasion, with his exploits in the 1986 World Cup widely considered to be the greatest individual performance in a football tournament. Few players have had as tremendous an impact on the game of football as Johan Cruyff. A technical maestro, Cruyff overcame his physical limitations with sheer footballing genius and strength of will. The progenitor of total football, along with coach Rhinus Michaels, his game would be defined by his positional versatility and tactical noose. He was voted as the European Player of the Century in a 1999 poll, coming second to Pele in the world player voting. Zizou, as he was fondly called, remains the gold standard for midfield excellence. In a playing career spanning around 17 years, he won every single individual and team accolade possible, including a World Cup in 1998, France's first ever. A complete playmaker, he was renowned for his elegance, vision, passing, ball control, and technique. Zidane also had a maverick streak to him, a streak that would only add to his mythical stature. Cruyff's G.O.T. case is based on just how transformative his play style and football philosophy have been. It is his influence that laid foundations for modern positional play, with an emphasis on creating space in different contexts on the pitch. From Pep Guardiola's incomparable Barcelona team of the late 2000s and early 2010s, to the World Cup-winning Spanish team of 2010, Cruyff's legacy has touched modern football, unlike any other player. Brazil's Ronaldo for many is the most talented player of his generation, with a career severely truncated by injuries. Ayel Fenomeno, as he was lovingly called, possessed a breakneck pace and decision-making to match, beating players before they could even figure out what was happening. His early years saw him put up video game numbers in different settings. For instance, in his only season for Barcelona in 1996-97, he scored 47 times in 51 appearances. Football fans have been spoiled by the sheer goal-scoring output of Cristiano Ronaldo at his peak. 
Beginning his career as a flamboyant yet not always efficient winger, Cristiano transformed into a goal-scoring machine in his peak years. A flawless physical specimen, Cristiano perfected the art of finishing, whether it be with his feet, body, or head. Over his career, he has won every personal and club accolade he could, including an improbable victory in the Euros of 2016. Leo Messi has combined Maradona's magic with unmatched production. Over the course of his career, he has scored 592 goals, club plus international games, and assisted another 350 times. Along the way, he has wowed players and fans alike with his sublime skill, vision and audacity to try the unimaginable. All this, in a modern era where advanced analytics and video footage help opponents know all facets of a player's game, all the tiny tendencies which were previously missed. Messi's GTOT case is simple. Sustained excellence. Previously, players of his ilk had short effervescent peaks but faded either due to injuries, indifference or simply getting figured out. Messi's own idol, Diego Maradona is the perfect example. The fact that Messi has kept his magic alive for such a long period is the ultimate testament to his greatness. This World Cup win is a storybook ending to a legendary career. His trophy cabinet is now complete, and with it is his case to be the greatest to ever play the game. There is nothing more he can do.